Okay, hello, this is Argolin here. Uh, so I just picked up this game called Pi uh, Sid Meier's Pirates. I played it a long time ago. Um, I haven't in a while popped out, figured I'd give it a go. You may notice, first thing that I'm recording again, uh, I just found out that the mic I've been using while waiting to replace it actually doesn't sound that terrible when recorded, whereas the one before it did, so that's why I stopped. Um, so with this one now, I'm going to be starting recording again. Uh, pretty much up this coming week. There'll be a couple episodes of this most likely, assuming how it goes, obviously. A couple episodes of Anglo Zulu War for Mountain Blade Warband, I recorded that. And then uh, we're starting a schedule for like the week. So this week there won't be a lot. Uh, next week there'll be at least one video a day. Um, and it should continue like that unless I get like some weird uh, like interruption type thing. So, uh, yeah, I guess let's get started on Sid Meier's Pirates, the game where you get to be a pirate. It's pretty awesome. It began with a celebration. I indebted for years to the Marquis de la Montalban. A family's prosperity was soon to be restored. Their fleet was due to arrive on the morrow. I don't think this is supposed to be talking carrying both their hopes and their salvation. But the celebration celebration was befouled by an unwelcome guest. The Marquis himself arrived, bearing ill tidings. Looks pretty fancy. The fleet had been lost, and the dead had come duel. The dead had come duel. I thought it was kind of sketched out. Family's property was seized, and they were pressed into bondage. But one of them would not be a slave. I assume this is us. Again, like, I don't remember this story at all. Oh, ballsy. Oh, he's got that pirate eye patch. So it was that the brave young Scion escaped his family's fate, and hid literally two feet away, swearing to save them and one day avenge the Marquis' foul deed. Ten years later, so they were ten years as a slave. Holy shit, that's a long time. They could be dead by now. Now grown to his full measure, the young adventurer begins his quest to find his family and restore their fortune. Seeking passage to the New World, you inquire at a public house. If you be looking for a passage to the Americas, you can sign up here. <laughs> Okay, so this is where we come with like a name. Uh, looks like experience. Okay, skills. Oh, okay, I think I have to go down. Let's just go with Argolin, I guess. Okay, yeah. Uh, is this difficulty? Okay. I believe this is difficulty. Um. So I don't want to start it. I know I haven't played this, but I don't want to start the adventure, maybe? More dangerous. Sea battles are more dangerous and villains more treacherous. Only the bold are temporal. Okay. Let's go adventure, I guess. Uh, skill. Fencing. Okay. Gunnery. Navigation. Medicine. Wit and Charm. I think fencing is the way to go there. Start dates. Merchants and smugglers after the 1590s Spanish Empire begins uh, sli slow slide into decay and chaos, both militarily and econ- econ- I can't speak tonight. Economically. Fuck it. Conversely, England and France are growing. Vital nations. Are growing vital nations. The reputed richest, pleasant climate and emptiness of the Americas all beckon, and a miscellaneous assortment of Frenchmen and Englishmen start new colonial ventures. Okay, so Spain's falling, they're going out. The new colonists. The new colonial ports are a godsend to privateers, now have legal employ thanks to the renewed warfare in Europe. Finances and bar barks with pr uh, pir piratical intent are everywhere in the Caribbean. Spanish strength continues to wane, especially at sea. A well-outfitted force can even attempt to capture the treasure fleet on the high seas. War for profit. Opportunities abound and success awaits. Spain is almost at war with somebody, is almost always at war with somebody. And not uncommonly with everybody. <laughs> Since Spanish military power is a joke, the opportunities for plunder are legion. 
After a rich cruise against the hapless Spanish, no voyage is complete without a wild party at Tortuga, Barbados, or Curico. The Buccaneer Heroes. They are uh, sometimes called the Golden Age of Buccaneering. Plenty of warfare to legalize your actions, and a plethora of rich Spanish and non-Spanish ports to either raid or use the bases as you prefer. Because of her military weakness, Spain ships and towns are the most popular target for buccaneers and pirates of all nationalities. And pirates sunk side. Prospects in this era are as good as the 1660s and 70s. However, pi pirate hunting warships appear more frequently, while the non-Spanish ports are larger and better fortified. Take advantage of pirate amnesty when offered, so you are prepared for sudden outbreak of peace. Uh, I think I'm going to leave it where it is. Sort of the golden age of piracy. Um, you know, if this does well... Maybe we'll give a couple of more of these. Honestly, uh, to me, the first one... Or wait, was it? No. The second one sounds cool. Third one sounds pretty neat, too, actually. And the last one really appeals to me. Um, I just want to check time real quick. Sorry, six minutes. Okay. Uh, yeah, so that really appeals to me. So if this does well, maybe we'll give it another shot. You need to sign on as part of a crew. The captains at yonder table will gladly take your board. Okay. Oh, I have to click continue now. There be some French, Spanish, Dutch, and English ships are looking for able-bodied lads such as yourself. Take your pick. Okay, so we got the French, the English, the Dutch, and the Spanish. Okay. Uh, so from what I understand, the Spanish are shit. Uh, that's what I got out of that conversation back there. Uh, the Dutch guy looks pretty cool. The English I like the idea of, and the French less so. I'm kind of thinking English or Dutch. Um... Yeah, let's go England. England's a, a naval power. Welcome aboard, Mr. Argolet. We sail with the tide. Oh, shit. Dropped a battery. The crossing was fraught with terror and cruelty. So this is our passage to the New World. The captain drove the ship and her crew to breaking. Well, that's just rude. My, my coin... Oh, that backhand, though. Push beyond all de decency, the crew mutinies. Some intense sword fighting. The Ring of Steel. The Dance of Death. Random cannon fire. <laughs> Here I am, magically up the sail, dueling. Ah, hell no. Oh, that was good. That was good. Got a sweet looking cutlass. <laughs> Set adrift. Free under, under full sail. The ship and its crew are at your command. I don't know why they would go under me. You make your way into the Caribbean. A fortune to be had. From what I understand, I played a little bit of, uh, oh, sorry, a family to rescue. <laughs> oh, wait, revenge to be served. I thought he was done. My bad. Your destiny awaits you. That's a really ugly family. I say we leave them, find a new one. Anyways, yeah, um, that g a game came out called The Caribbean, and it basically just looks like a ripoff and less good version of this. Okay, so, the English trading port of St. Kitts, population 3200, is clean and prosperous. Spice often fetches a good price in St. Kitts. Do you talk to the governor, visit the tavern, trade with the merchant, consult the shipwright, divide the plunder, check status, sailway. Check status, I guess? The illustrious Captain Argolin. Current buccaneer is an English captain, currently an adventurer captain with skill at fencing. 18 years old and in excellent health. Crew of 40 is very happy. Okay, well that's good. Turn to game. Uh, I guess talk to the governor. You can just walk in and see the governor. My dear Mr. Argolin, please come in. You may be interested to know that we are at war with the evil Spanish. We have a peace treaty with the French. Please doff your letter of mark, which authorizes you to plunder and sink the ships of our enemies. As this map will show, the nearest enemy city is the Spanish city of San Juan, which lies a long distance to the west. That is kind of a long way. At least I think. I'm about to send the brig Duke of Kent to blockade San Juan. Perhaps you would like to tag along and pluck a few Spanish prizes. Good day, Mr. Argolin. Maybe I would. Might be I would. Uh, let's hit the bar. That's always the next stop. 
Citizens of St. Kitts have gathered at the tavern this evening to discuss the latest happenings, including the fact you received an English letter of Mark. Who would you like to talk to? You? Barkeep. The shipwright in St. Martin can upgrade your ship with cotton sails if you like. Your ship. Okay, so you can upgrade ships. That's good to know. Okay. Uh, it is rumored that the alarm ban for Sound 1 is carrying over $1,000 in gold. I believe she's a Dutch brigantine, the barmaid whispers. I don't know a whole lot about boats, but I are brigantines big? I'm not sure. So I want to go up that way to the west, and I'll find that. Okay. Who's this guy? Yes, Peter. Sure, about it. sure, tell me more. Guadeloupe. French capital, population of 5,000, lander, 660 soil. Okay. Grape shot. Cool. The locals are mostly content, yet an eager band of 22, a eager band, should be Anne, fucking Christ. Scrubs, grammar Nazi on the on the case. 22 men offers to join a current crew for it. Welcome aboard, mates. Welcome aboard. Okay, uh, that's it, right? Okay. Trade with the, mer I have four months of food. I've got some lug, oh no, I don't, okay, I see. That's what he, okay. Okay. I don't want to do any of that right now. Consult with the shipwright. Uh, so I have this sloop, 40 ton revenge. Okay. Cool. Well, let's sail away, I guess. How do you, how do you play this? Uh, none. Oh. So, oh, wait, is it played with... God damn it, this is very difficult. Oh, it's with the mouse? Okay. Spyglass. Uh, this is weird. Okay, so I click, and then I use the numpad. Gotcha. Oh, I'm in a ramrocks. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Don't laugh, this is a learning process. I'm trying to figure out how this works. Okay, so this is that ship they were sending. Um, I think I'm kind of supposed to follow this, is that right? Do I have, like, fleet status? Personal status? Okay, captain's log? Okay. Nothing. I am here. Courageous plundering of Spanish ships. Okay. Ten. Oh, these are the, what? Okay, these are like the ten most people, I guess. Henry Morgan. <laughs> Captain Morgan. Blackbeard, Captain Kidd. Stead Bonnet, Olma, Rock, Super Rock. Me, I'm the tenth most notorious pirate. Pirateopedia. Okay, this is just... System options, load save. Okay, return to game. Dutch smuggler. I'm not supposed to attack the Dutch. I'm supposed to attack the uh, the Spanish. Like that one. Right there, there's a Spanish sloop. That's what we're, we're in, so attack. Spanish sloop. Six guns, 42. We have eight guns and 62. Okay, how does this work? So I can use that, or I can... I guess I can use the numpad? Okay. Why are you not turning right? Mate. Okay. I don't know. Is my numlock not on? Shit. That is an issue. Uh, we have a problem. Where's the numlock on this computer? Fuck. Serious issue. Okay, can I ram? Can I, like... I'm gonna try and ram it, because I, I need to find my numlock button. And I don't know where it is. God damn it. This is bad. This is very bad. God damn it, no. Fire. Gah. Oh. Okay. She struck her colors and surrendered. Excellent. Continue. Thirteen sailors. Oh, sure, why not? This is not good. I need to turn this numlock on, and I don't know where it is. So. Print screen. Scroll lock. Where the fuck is it? Wetters of the Numlock. Uh, that was a pretty bad way to start. I'm not even gonna lie, that was just bad. Pause break. Uh, what the fuck? Do I have to hold it? I don't... Huh. I'm not really sure how it works. Okay, well, I'll deal with it later. So we can get some food. Uh, can I take all? I guess I'll keep her? Can you sell ships? I'm gonna hope so. Okay. There we go, my numpad's working now. Okay. 
So it seems the light that was on my thing actually said that it, or actually meant that it was off. Let's get this sloop too, why not? Fuck the Spaniards. Oh, oh shit. Turn fire. Go on Atom lads. Oh, we hit him. Awesome. Okay, so guns loaded. Oh, attack, attack. Yeah, we're dodging them. Dodging every shot. Oh, that strafe and broadside. I missed, mostly. Okay, let's give him, uh, let's give him a grape shot. That's for, like, against crew, right? I would assume. Yeah, it looks like it. Let's pull a tight turn and engage. What happens now? Okay. The ships collide with a mighty crash. As your crew rushes to attack, the enemy captain approaches with a sword drawn. Longsword, rapier, or cutlass. Versatile, quick attack. I'm gonna go with a longsword. I like versatility. Oh, this is cool. Oh, shit. Okay. Thrust. Thrust. Chop. Oh, shit. Okay. Just stab at him, I guess. Okay. Okay. So if he... Okay. I'm parrying his stabs. Now I'm gonna stab back. Chop. Oh, shit. Okay, I just hit him with a hook of some sort. Oh, God. This is going badly. Okay. This is hard, actually. Oh, he surrendered. Okay, it's over. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, is it over? Okay. Okay. That was a panic-induced moment. I didn't really know what I was doing. Take all, I guess? Keep her? Sure. Why not? May as well. <laughs> uh, is there, like, a map? Oh, right there. Three. I am here. Okay, I kind of want to go back to England somewhere. So, there's a lot of Spanish towns. That's England. Okay, so England kind of controls this little cluster here. Okay, well, I think I'm going to turn around and go sell. Uh, we're going to call that an episode. Episode 1 of Sidmere's Pirates. Uh, welcome to the show.